Okay, guys. It's the Ed Shed talking to you. Now, we'd like you to keep clicking that like button. Smash that like button. Um, to give me some enthusiasm to do this for the 60th anniversary. Now, I have done something. I know it doesn't look like it is. I took the top wishbones off with some help from my friend. Well, from my son. <laughs> from, my, from, from my son, whose birthday is today, so I'd like you all to wish him a happy birthday. He's now 40 years old. By the time you see this, it will no longer be my birthday. No, it would be 41. Do. Not quite. Not be an old man. But anyway, we have found our friend Ferris, and we're not talking Bueller. Ferris has been really hard at work on this bulkhead on this side. Uh, oh, this side's bad. This side's bad. This side's not too bad. I think mean, this side's good, that side's bad. <laughs> anyway, so, sunroof's out. Most of the bulkhead's off. These are going to be replaced anyway, so I'm not bothering taking it actually crap off. I've got the butt bumper to save. Uh, and then I've got, hopefully, the guy is going to blast Docious. Uh, and he's going to blast it. And uh, we're going to then, hopefully, the, the uh, floor pans will be back from my... my Mate is folding them up for me, and then I'm going to swage them by getting a swager out. So we'll do a little video showing you how to swage some floor pads if you have a swager. And um, then, hopefully, when I'm talking, hopefully, we'll be starting to do a weld a thon. Now, the boot floor is still giving me a bit of issues. Uh, I thought I had a boot floor. I had a look round, and I, I did save one years ago. I just can't seem to find it. I don't know where it is. So if I had a boot floor, yeah, it'd be great, but so is the back panel's rusty, and so is the rear quarters. Now, I have one side, this side, and I have that side. That side's got a lot of foam in it, as you say. So, maybe we'll we'll cross that as we come to it, but we'll, we might try and do a bit of fabrication for that. We're not going to go crazy. We did say we weren't going to go crazy. We said this is just a, a thing for the 60th anniversary of the old E-Type, so... Uh, in theory... <coughs> You know, quarter winners came out at a fight, quite nice. Drilled most of this out to get the camp rails off, so still got a few fixings here, as you can see there. There's a few fixings like these. This is the first thing. You got these these, these screws, and it fixes from the like the outside in. So if I get them off, then I can repair that camp rail because that one over that side is not very good. This side is going to be seized down here, I know, so I'm not too. Anyway, that'll be another day. I'm going to take the dashboard out because I don't want to take all that out to a shot blast. And I don't want to take the wire in there out. So. But we did actually find a... Look up here. Look. Can you see what's happened up here? We have got some really, really nasty rust there. It's held it on by this little piece here. I'm sort of tempted to say that I might... I don't know. I might have to... Well, I'm going to have to do some welding that over that day, but... It's all to do with the windscreen. So uh, again, the left-hand side rust strikes again. That side's horrendously bad. Anyway, uh, as I said, I'm not, we're not going to start getting depressed about it because we are going to do it. It's only we've only done like sort of two and a half days up to now, so or maybe three days if you count the bits and pieces I've done on my own for a couple of hours. So uh, we're going to leave it there. Smash the like button. Give us some enthusiasm to go on, and uh, hopefully we will. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.